Okay, so in this video we're going to be finding perimeter. Now before you can find perimeter, obviously you need to know what perimeter is. Uh, most of you already know that. Perimeter is the distance around a shape. So for example, if we have this rectangle here, the perimeter is the distance that you would need to walk if you were to walk all the way around that shape. Uh, similarly, if we were to look at a triangle here, the perimeter is the distance that you would need to walk all the way around that shape to get back to where you started. We'll also look at uh, a slightly strange object here. Now again, the perimeter around that shape will be the distance all the way around, if you were to walk all the way around that object. Okay, so that's what perimeter is. Now, for any uh, shape at all, any two-dimensional shape, we only have one, or I'm only gonna teach you one rule for perimeter. And that rule is perimeter equals the sum of sides. Now that just means all of the sides added up together. Uh, we'll shorten that, make it nice and easy for ourselves. Perimeter equals SOS. Okay, so if we were to look at a rectangle, something that looks like this, uh, I'll just put in some measurements here. Let's say five centimeters and eight centimeters. Now you really wanna make sure that you're not gonna stuff this up. Now the easiest way to make sure that you don't stuff it up is to start in a corner, put a big circle in that corner. I always choose the bottom left just so, just so I get used to it. And then I just walk around each of those corners, each of those sides. So I walk from here to here, that's five centimeters. Walk from here to here, that's eight centimeters. Walk from here to here, that's another five centimeters. And finally I'll walk from here to here, and that's another eight centimeters. So five plus eight plus five plus eight, you can type that into your calculator. That's gonna give me 26 centimeters. So really straightforward, really simple, really methodical way to find the perimeter uh, so you don't stuff it up in, in an exam. Okay, let's look at this triangle here. Uh, now I'll give that a length here of six centimeters and I'll put these lines here Okay, so we have a triangle here. We can see the length of that side is six centimeters. Now you should remember that these lines here mean that these sides are equal in length. And then finally, this side down the bottom, that's eight centimeters. Okay, so using our same rule, perimeter equals SOS. I'm gonna start in my bottom left-hand corner I'm going to move through the first side, which is 6. Then I'm going to move to the second side, which is 6. Then I'm going to move to the third side, which is 8. You'll notice that I walk around this shape. This is so that when the shapes get more complicated, uh, I don't miss any sides. So make sure you spend your time walking around the shape. 6 plus 6 plus 8. Uh, that'll come do 20 uh, centimetres. So again, the perimeter of that shape is 20 centimeters. Uh, let's look at our more complicated one here. Uh, I might put some lines there. Uh, I'll call that five, I'll call that eight, and I'll call that 10. Okay, I've made this uh, question a little bit complicated here so we can see what we're working with. Uh, again, our rule's always the same. Perimeter equals sum of sides. Now let's take a look. Pretty straightforward so far. Start from the left hand corner, move up, that's five. Now you can see, I haven't been told what that length is, but I do know that that length is the same as that length. And you should be able to see that this length plus this length, so from there to there, is gonna be equal to there. So if that's 10, and these are the same length, even though they don't look like it in my diagram, that means that that must be five and that also must be five. So 
looking at it, 5, 5. Now you can see no one's told me what this is, but we can do something similar to what we just did before. If we know that that's 8, and we know that that's 5, this length here must be 8 minus 5, so it must be 3. Oops. So 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 8 and finally back to where we started plus 10. Okay, so if you grab your calculator, easy enough, 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 8 plus 10. That's 36, uh, we'll call it centimetres again. Okay, here you have perimeter, three very simple uh, shapes, finding the distance around those shapes. Try to bear in mind that even though this is a very, very simple concept, it's when we start getting to the more complicated shapes like this that people start stuffing them up. The best thing you can do to avoid that, put a dot somewhere, walk around the object. In our next video, we'll look at uh, circles and how to find the perimeter of circles.